柳は、Can you rewrite this document? This is really not good at all. Oh, I- I'm sorry. My name is Misato Yamagiwa. It's my third year since I joined the company, but to be honest, my work is not going well. My senior worker, Miss Aoi Nizaka, often points out my mistakes, and I often had to rewrite documents like this. Aoi Nizaka. She is three years older than me, and when I joined the company, she was my mentor. She is very good at her work, and the higher ups evaluated her highly. She was famous within the company because her career looked very promising. She is also famous for being incredibly beautiful. Miss Nizaka, I've remade the documents, so please check it out for me. Okay, I'll do that. Having said that, since you've already been here for three years, I wish you would submit documents that don't need to be edited. I'm sorry. <sighs> What happened? Did Miss Nizaka scold you again? He's my friend and colleague, Ryota. He looks like a playboy, but I think he's a good guy. Well, I guess today wasn't so bad, but she did seem disappointed. If she's that harsh to you, it seems she does expect a lot from you. As for me, she doesn't even bother to scold me. You're so much better at these things, so she doesn't even need to scold you, Ryota. Oh man, you seem pretty down today. I thought she wasn't so harsh today. No, it's just that I got pretty annoyed with myself after all these years. I see. Well, tomorrow's our day off, so why don't we go out for a drink? We need to take a breather sometimes, right? That's true. Yeah, let's go refresh ourselves. After that, Ryota and I went drinking after work. One week later. <sighs> Miss Nizaka, good morning. Are you feeling alright? Good morning, Yamazaki. I think I have a slight cold, but it's nothing. Her face is so red, and she doesn't look so well. Is she really okay? If you're not feeling well, perhaps you should go home? I told you I'm fine. I have tons of things to do, so I can't take a break. But if you get worse and you don't feel well for a longer period of time, wouldn't that be bad for your work? Be quiet! I know that well enough myself! I'm sorry. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, what you were saying is exactly right. But I can't take a day off now. Please understand that. Yes. If Miss Nizaka is that emotional, she must be feeling really unwell. Although I was worried about her, I also understood what Miss Nizaka was saying, so I couldn't say anything back. When one is an excellent worker like her, people rely a lot on her as well. Because of that, Miss Nizaka's responsibility at work was huge. There's not many people who could replace her. After that, there were no particular problems, and the day went by. After people left for the night, it was only Miss Nizaka and I who were left in the office. Yamagiwa, you can go home now, you know? I still have things to do. The things that I've asked you to do aren't all in that much of a hurry, I, I thought. It was thanks to Miss Nizaka, who looked after our work schedules, that we could normally go home on time. But today I stayed longer because Miss Nizaka didn't seem to be doing well. I think that you should go home early, Miss Nizaka. I'm fine. This is my usual routine. I had heard that Miss Nizaka often worked after hours. Perhaps she had overworked because of us and her exhaustion got bigger? Miss Nizaka, I've remade the document, so please check it out for me. Okay, I'll do that. Miss Nizaka! Why are you suddenly speaking in a loud voice? If there's anything that I can do for you, please tell me. I will do anything. You suddenly seem very motivated. But it's alright. I've already asked you to do the jobs that I can count on you to do. I see. Well, I guess it can't be helped. If I were more reliable, things might have been different. But I'm usually causing her a lot of trouble. She always proofreads my documents and edits them for me. To think that I could suggest her that to do her work is beyond my capabilities. What was that sound just now? Uh, Miss Nizaka! <sighs> Are you alright? 
Miss Nizaka, hello, are you alright? I... I'm alright. Sorry, please allow me to touch your forehead. Fever? You have a fever! I'm fine. Uh, uh, you should stay away from me or, or else you'll catch my cold. Definitely not. I will call an ambulance right away. No way. I can't manage my own health and I can't cause trouble to the company. Your life is much more important, no? It's just a cold. If I rest a little bit, I'll be fine. Then I have an idea. What? What are you doing? Please lie down on the sofa for a while. I'll lock up the office and we'll go to my place. What are you talking about? What are you thinking? If you don't want an ambulance to get there, I'll take care of you at my house. Please choose. <sighs> That's not fair. You're responsible since you're the one who worked way too much. <sighs> okay. Then I'll go to your place. I didn't expect that you would choose to come to my place, but it seemed that she really didn't want to become trouble to the company. I thought that if I went this far, she would have chosen to go to the ambulance. After that, I lent Miss Nizaka my shoulder and we headed all the way to my place. Fortunately, my place is close to the office, so probably not many people saw us together. Actually, I thought it would be difficult once we got home. We've arrived. I'll get you a wet towel, so please lie down on the bed in a comfortable position for you. Okay. She's so obedient. I guess her fever is quite high. This is an ice pillow and a wet towel, so it might be a little cold. You even have an ice pillow. Don't you live alone? Yes, I live alone. That's why I'm prepared just in case I get a fever. I see. You are well prepared for that, then. For that, she says. After a while, I heard Miss Nizaka sleeping. It seemed like after laying down, sleep overtook her. I had some medicine for the cold, so I went to the convenience store to get some porridge and yogurt for her. Miss Nizaka! Miss Nizaka! I brought you some porridge, so please eat some. Uh, porridge? I bought things that you could digest easily. It won't be easy to get better if you don't eat, so please. Please? Do you mean that you'll feed me? You seem like you're having a tough time still. It's embarrassing. Then will you eat it yourself? <sighs> then please feed me. It seems that she chose to be fed by me. Because she has so much self-confidence, I thought that she would eat it herself, but she keeps on surprising me with her reactions. Perhaps her real personality is... Here you are. Open your mouth. Uh... After that, I kept on feeding Miss Nizaka. It seemed like she had an appetite, so if she got some good night's rest, she should get better. Fortunately, tomorrow's a day off, so she could rest well. Uh... I think I'm sweaty. Can I take a bath? Oh, but isn't it better to not take a bath when you have a fever? It's fine if it's not so hot. Isn't that only when one doesn't have such a high fever? Even if you were to take a bath, I don't have any clothes for you to change in. Oh. Hmm. Could you lend me your t-shirt? Uh, what? The rest I can manage, somehow. Even if she says so, she probably won't be able to go out in my t-shirt. What does she plan to do? I figured she wasn't going to listen to me, so I lent her my t-shirt. Of course, I had no other suspicious thoughts. This was entirely done out of goodwill. If people found out what I did today, I won't be able to feel comfortable in the office anymore. Miss Nizaka is strict, but also cool and beautiful. That's why she was popular among both men and women at the company. And that is why the people who like her are fearful. Thank you for letting me use your bath. No, oh, no problem. Oh, how cute she looks. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I still feel a little dizzy, but I'm fine. She isn't fine at all. 
Please go to bed early today, okay? Uh, you're right. Uh, what? Since when was it decided that I would be staying over at your place? Well, you are right, but you can't go home like that, could you? Oh. Uh, true, I'm making all sorts of mistakes today. I wouldn't say that, but you have a fever, so it can't be helped. Then I'll let myself be your guest and stay over tonight. Don't do anything funny, alright? I won't! Oh, then it's fine. Could I use your sofa? I'll sleep there. No, that's not good. You need to sleep in the bed. But this bed is yours. You're sick, so please sleep comfortably. I'll be fine on the sofa. I feel bad about that. It's fine, please go to bed. Oh, hey! You are quite stubborn at times like this. I'm just worried about you, Miss Nizaka. Well then, have a good sleep. <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. It would probably be better if I stayed beside her until she fell asleep, but she probably will not be too enthusiastic about being observed while asleep. It would be a different story if she fell asleep by accident, though. The next day... <sighs> oh, it's morning. For some reason, I still feel exhausted. What did I do yesterday? Are you awake? Ah! I mean, what? Miss Nizaka, why are you in my room? I'm amazed. Don't you remember anything? You made me come to your place by force yesterday. Oh, that's right. Miss Nizaka had a fever last night. How's your fever? Well, I am fine now, thanks to you. Thank you for taking care of me. Oh, well, we should help each other when we need it. You're usually a quiet type of person, but you can be forceful sometimes. As a way of showing my appreciation, I'll make you breakfast. What? You can cook, Miss Nizaka? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, well, uh, what I mean is... Oh, shoot, slip of the tongue! I had an image of a person who's as cool and excellent worker as Miss Nizaka, and that they weren't good at cooking. That is, I couldn't imagine her as a domestic type of person, and assumed that she couldn't do house chores. How can I get out of this mess? Huh, well, just wait and see. I'll make you something that would surprise you. Thank you, Miss Nizaka. But... There are no ingredients in my house, because I don't cook. What? What do you usually do then? I either eat out or buy some food at the convenience store. Ah, <sighs> well, then we are going to my place. It can't be helped. We're going to your house? If you don't cook, that means you have no kitchen appliances, right? We have no other choice but to cook at my house. I think it would just be better to give up on cooking. But I somehow couldn't bring myself to say that since Miss Nizaka seemed so earnest about it. I was also purely interested in eating what she would cook. After that, Miss Nizaka changed into her business suit and we headed over to her place. When we arrived at her place, she immediately changed into her casual clothes and started cooking. Wow, she is really used to doing this. It was as though she was working. Her movements were very efficient. Hmm, this is delicious. <laughs> right, right. My hobby is cooking. I see. I wish I could eat this every day. What? D do you mean... Hmm? Is something the matter? I wonder what happened. For some reason, Miss Nizaka's face was red. Can it be that her fever was coming back? Thank you very much for the meal. You could stay longer. You just recovered from a cold, so it'd be better for me to leave. We live unexpectedly close, so if there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to call me. Okay. I'll do that. Then, I went back home. Then, a few hours later... Hello, could you come to my room now? I suddenly received a message from Miss Nizaka. Is she feeling unwell again? 
Miss Nizaka, this is Yamagiwa. Are you all right? I headed to Miss Nizaka's place in a hurry. Then... Oh, you got here earlier than I expected. Miss Nizaka came out looking fine? Uh, oh. Did you already eat lunch? Oh, uh, not yet. I see. Then that's good. Uh, what's going on? I called you because I am going to cook lunch. What? You said you wanted to eat my cooking every day, right? We live close to each other, so from now on, I'll cook for you. Managing my staff's health is also my responsibility. What is going on here? Why is that strict Miss Nizaka offering to cook for me every day? Are you sure that's alright? Yes, I'd like to do that for you. The food tastes better if I eat it with someone, and it also makes me happy to have someone to eat what I've cooked. Also, if there are more people eating the food, I can make more kinds of dishes, so it's convenient. You are a good person, and helped me, so this is nothing. It seems that my reputation has gone up while I wasn't aware of it. What happened after that is... What? You started going out with that Miss Nizaka? Aoi and I started going out after eating together every day and got closer to each other. That's what I told Ryota. To be honest with you, I'm also surprised, but I am happy now. Wow, that's incredible! Just between you and me, you know how popular she is, right? Right, I heard. I still can't believe that she would go out with me. Well, it's great. I wish you lots of happiness. My friend cheered me on, but there is one thing that I'm hiding from me, and that is... You can hug me, you know. Okay, okay. Uh, like this? Hmm. Oh, we demanded lots of love. Unexpectedly so. That's probably why we get along so well with each other. From now on, I'll work hard to support the cool worker that she is at the office and spoil her when we're home and spend happy days together.